Shalom, brothers and sisters. Singer Charlotte Church has now led a choir, including children, in the genocidal song calling for the eradication of Israel. Welsh musician and actor Charlotte Church, 38, appeared at a Sing for Palestine event in South Wales on Saturday and led a choir of about 100 people. I'm not going to post a video because I'm not going to perpetuate this genocidal chant. It included children and they sang the protest chant calling for the destruction and eradication of Israel. A video from the event shows church in a kafir leading the group with a song version of From the River to the Sea, Palestine Will Be Free. On Monday during an Instagram live, church said, just to clarify my intentions, I am in no way anti-Semitic. I am fighting for the liberation of all people. I have a deep heart for all religions and all differences. Yo, the Antichrist needs to get his people to move on this woman. She would be ideal in PR working with the Pope. Seriously. I'm not anti-Semitic. I'm just calling for the destruction of Israel and the Jews. It's not anti-Semitic. It's just Jews. It's just Israel. They shouldn't be there. I mean, what is your reference? The Bible? The Bible's not true. It's fake news. Huh? The world's gone mad. And people are perpetuating murderous thoughts and thinking they're doing a good thing. It's as good as people running around singing, kill the boer, kill the farmer, referencing the murder and genocide of white farmers here in South Africa. Doesn't mean that, it's just a song. Never mind that every time they chant it in this country and sing it, the death rate on the farmers goes through the roof in the weeks that follow. Never mind that it's consistently happening all the time. It is the same with from the river to the sea. Palestine will be free. They're calling for the destruction of Israel. They should read the Bible and see just how big God intended Israel to be. From two massive rivers that span across wider territories and other countries. And you know what? God is going to intend it and make it happen when he comes back at the end. People are going to be shocked with the size of what God calls Israel when he rules. And you know what's encouraging? That's not far in the future anymore. It's right here. God bless. Pray for Israel. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Shalom.